Hello neighbors, it's Friday, it's Pulgam in Korea. Pulgam in Korea means burning Fridays. Basically, you finish work and you just uh, let loose. Since it's burning Friday, I thought why not we do some burning chicken. We're gonna spread some gochujang paste on top of regular chicken, take it up a notch, bring it some flavor, and then since you don't wanna like just uh, faint from all this burning, uh, we're gonna do a, a chilled cucumber soup. It's called oinenkug in Korea. Put the two together and it's very, very nice. Wow. We're gonna build the flavor off our traditional Korean gochujang. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna do four tablespoons, two tablespoons of gochukaru, two tablespoons of soy sauce, then two tablespoons of rice wine or medium. Then we're gonna do three tablespoons of sugar and then one tablespoon of minced garlic. I want you to mix this baby up. That gochujang color is like deep and red and it's just full of history. <laughs> For this recipe, we really wanna work with chicken thigh, skin on. All right, looks beautiful. This one has been trimmed up quite nicely. If you see any like pockets of fat, you can just trim that out. Grab a little bit of the sauce, put it on. Then get your paintbrush and finish the job. Yes. Be generous. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is around 300 grams of chicken thigh meat. Flip them over, rub it on. Oh my gosh, I just looked at this through the camera. This looks terrible. Some modern art here. And then I'm gonna just chill this down and let this marinate in the refrigerator for around 30 minutes. Of course, the longer the better. So if you got some more time, just let it sit and hang out. And we still got a lot of marinade left. So you can save this for your next run. Or you can start off with twice as much chicken, maybe 500 grams or 600 grams. All right, it's been at least 30 minutes. We're gonna get our chicken back out. And a key thing here is this gochujang, this thing burns quickly. So let's get this pan hot first. A Little bit of oil in. And when the pan has gotten hot enough, reduce this to a low heat. This is a must. Skin side down first, and then this sauce is gonna mix and it's gonna splatter. So the best way, just put a lid on it. It'll also capture some of the heat and make it cook through. And that's it, we're gonna wait till this cooks. And after about three to five minutes, open this up. Wow, give it a flip. Guys, this is next level. Oh my gosh, give it another flip. Put the lid back on and we'll give it another three to five minutes. I think it's about done. Oh my goodness. Wow. Take a look at that. <laughs> Incredible. Perfect. Turn on the music. After you cut it up, all that extra juice, strip it all over. Oh my goodness. And guys, there it is. Woo, just look at that. First things guys, we're gonna do about 600 milliliters of water. That'll be a little bit more than two standard cups of water. One third cup more. So that comes to roughly 585, 590, close enough to 600. For this recipe, make sure you use measuring cups because we gotta get that ratio right. We wanna do one tablespoon of dining salt, then four tablespoons of sugar, six tablespoons of vinegar. We gotta get some tartness in there as well. And to that, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of minced garlic. Give this an initial stir. And then a key step that a lot of restaurants do to get the flavor really infused, we're gonna just mix it in a blender. Give it a few. Good. I'm gonna chill this in the refrigerator now. And then we're gonna use one cucumber. At least the ones in Korea, they had these like little bumps. Do some spa treatment. <laughs> All right. Cut it into thin lengths like this. And then simply julienne them. One or two large pinches of salt like that. Mix them around. And then we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. That salt is gonna draw the water out. And while we wait for that, there's just too much green. We need to break it up. Let's make it Christmas with some red. This pepper in Korean is called honggochu. It's just a red chili pepper. It's not as spicy as the green one. Actually, not that spicy at all. There's a lot of seeds. I'm gonna just give this a quick wash because we don't want any of that. And that's gonna work fabulous as a little topping at the end. All right, since there's salt in here, we're gonna quickly give this a wash. All right, 
and now because of the salt you can see that it bends very easily without snapping we're going to just squeeze the water out just a few good squeezes this soup strangely i don't know why it's always served in a clear bowl pull this out of the refrigerator in here then let's get a little bit of our cucumbers put this inside Ooh, very nice yes yes please then drop in a few and then a few drops of sesame seeds give it a little mix around drop in a few ice cubes oh it's sticking yes and as the ice cube melts it's gonna dilute the flavor a little bit but that's fine all right and you might be curious how do you actually eat this after you eat something spicy it's kind of like a chaser you want it something cool so you just take a spoonful wow guys this is just perfect mm. first off you get the crunch of the cucumbers and since we squeeze the water out it's very tender you can just keep crunching like that then it's tart you get a little bit of the garlic in the background and then a little bit of sweetness and it's just just refreshing and one thing if the flavor tastes a little bit strong to you for some reason you can add a few more ice cubes and as that melts it'll smoothen out the flavor even more or if you're very impatient just add a little bit of water <laughs> all right got this one here this one's just calling my name just put it on some rice mm. Mm, so good and if your mouth gets too hot go in for a little bit of cucumbers Oh my god, this chicken recipe is unstoppable. I mean, this, I could totally see this becoming a hit menu on like a food truck. Oh my goodness. So, right after this, open your refrigerator, look in the back, and there's gonna be that little lonely tub of gochujang that hasn't been opened up for a while. You give it some love, put it into action, and then thank me later. <laughs> see ya.